What's up, guys? <clears throat> so, I don't know if you can see what I got here, but I'm going to do my uh, first attempt at an ele electrolysis machine. I was watching Super Drew do it, and uh, uh, Metal for Detecting, Joshua Ralston, and I seen, well, this is one of the cool knives that I just found recently in one of those spots that I was uh, cleaning out. Look at this monstrosity, it's huge. Old knife. But uh, I've been wanting to do an electrolysis machine and uh, to clean out some old coins that I have. And I figured, what the hey? No better time than the present. So, I got me an old charger. This one only has 1.5 watts output. I don't know if that's going to be enough. But I got me a second one here that has the adjustment deals on it. So if this doesn't work, I'll switch over to this one. I don't want to ruin that one and then like kind of like, you know, be stuck on that. So as you can see, I already cut the alligator clips in half and uh, I gotta peel this guy out so that I can split the wires and I got my baking soda already a jar full of water I had a spoon around here and I think Casey stole it oh here it is right in front of me got my stainless steel spoon and I'm gonna split these two guys. I gotta pull up uh, Metal for Detecting Joshua Ralston's video back up because I know he had said that the negative goes to one side and the positive goes over to the other side and I don't want to screw that up and then uh, zap myself or my dog or you know, any, any innocent bystanders. So, ah. I hope that this works because this, this doesn't look like there's a lot of wiring going on in here. Um, I might have to burn this just to get these little fuzzies off. And if you could see that, there's kind of like a yeah, I'm going to get a lighter. There. Got me a lighter. And I just want to get these little fuzzies off so I get better connection on the alligator clips. Oh, man, I hope I didn't burn that wire too much. So, I know he had mentioned that he had both of these labeled, which is a really good idea. I just don't, I think I have some tape right there too, so. That works really well. So, I'm going to get some tape and a pen, and I'll label this. can't screw it up, or at least I have like a secondary thing to go for with, because I'm going to cover this up with tape. And I'm kind of trying to do this quickly, because I don't want this video to go into like over 10 minutes, because then people don't watch it, you know what I mean? So here's one. Let's see what we got here. How am I going to do this? Let's bend that over.
my my niece will come out and she'll make fun of me because I'm making a YouTube video. She's hilarious. So that's one. And then we got number two. I guess it doesn't really have to be pretty, it just has to be secure. And bam. So I'm going to put a piece of tape on this one that says negative. So that's that. I think the baking soda comes for la it's later. I think I gotta add add salt to the mixture, and then the spoon has to be bent like so. And that goes in there like that, and then this guy gets clipped. here, and then this one here, I'm going to choose something that will come out clean, I don't know what we got, there's an ugly quarter, New York State, can't go wrong, bam, and then that goes here, and you can't let anybody touch, or the wires touch, or you zap yourself out, and I got this all, oh my god, what a mess, boom, all right, let's see if I zap myself. I told you, she's going to come out and make fun of me because I'm making a YouTube video. <laughs> I didn't even see a camera See, there. see, you see, she's making believe. She doesn't... It's already bubbling, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Naki says I'm funny. Um, it's already starting to bubble, and we got some bubbles over here too going on, on the spoon, I don't know if you could see that, I'm all over the place, I may have to add more water, and then I have to add salt, so let me put you back over here, and then if my niece comes out, just ignore her. You want cereal, uh-huh. Uh, suck it, we got some salt. What are you doing? I'm zapping a coin to clean it out. Electri electrically zapping a coin. You see that coin right there? Yes. So if you put electricity through it at a low wattage, if you look over top of this, look over top. You see it's bubbling? Mm -hmm. Now what's happening, there's electrolysis happening right here. So there's electricity flowing through the water, and what it'll slowly do is clean this coin out, and by the time it's done, it'll look like that. And I don't have to touch it. You can't go wrong with that. Sorry. Science, man. <laughs> I'm breaking bad over here. What are, you, what are you talking about? But anyway, I'll get back to you guys in a bit.